So I'm going to call this episode the Sober Conversations episode because I have no idea what I have to plan for this episode because we have four people right here in this table and for this episode, we're just going to go freestyle most of the time. But we have a topic in our mind and we're just going to go as it goes along. So welcome to the Sober Conversations episodes. Everybody, welcome back to an episode of the Lim Kopi podcast. My name is Kokao. I'm Debbie. Yes, you forgot that your name exists. Yes, yes. I, yeah. Um, somehow <laughs> I forgot my name. Yes. Did, 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 are you still not used to the fact that you are co host already? Uh, I think, <laughs> yes. For, for some reason, I forgot that I'm the co host already. Hi, I'm Debbie. <laughs> yes. So she is the new guest co host uh, for this season. If still getting case. used to this new role. Yes, still getting used to it. She's still adapting to it. So if you are very curious about that whole aspect of it, we talked about it in the previous episode. In the very first episode of the season, uh, we talked about KL trip. And yes, we're still in KL. So in case you're wondering, um, by the time of this episode released, well, we're not in KL anymore. But as in, in this recording, we are in KL. At so recording. Yes. But we're not going to talk about KL, but we're going to talk about the two uh, beautiful people here. One you have recognized, another one that you haven't recognized yet. So probably before we start out this episode, I just want to say that uh, if there's any people from the TA server or the takeaway table server, uh, you're welcome for this episode because we are introducing more people from the server. And, um, you know, let's have fun today. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, do you want to introduce uh, the both of you guys? Maybe we start with, with you first. Hi, I'm Susan. I'm a graphic designer. I design design things for, for my living. That's it. I don't think there's a need to introduce yourself, but maybe for the sake of people. Hi, I'm Nick. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about myself. Uh, I, I, I just work as, uh, I'm just a normal administrative staff. And you're a mere feline. Yes, I am, I am also but a mere feline. So for this episode, I, uh, it's going to be damn random, but what's not random is our drinks for today. And we did uh, brought our favourite drinks for this episode, at least not for us, for me and her, because we tried out something different this time around, because we're going to try um, some mm. local drinks in Malaysia. But for the both of them, um, they have actually brought their favourite drinks. So maybe for us, let's just introduce quickly. Um, right. Nicholas did brought us to this place. Uh, maybe you just want to talk briefly about that. Called Mix. Uh, sponsor us, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't mind getting sponsored as well. Oh, yes. We, we don't mind. So this place is called Mix, or in Chinese it's uh, Mi Ke Si. It's, uh, as the name says, it's a mixture of products from different locations, especially like China, from Japan, Thailand, and uh, many others as well. So uh, we managed to went to this big one. Mm. Yep. Yeah, uh, yesterday and to buy some items especially my drink as well um, yeah. before we go into that drink itself I just want to quickly mention that yes we are there in KL and uh, there are a lot of drinks not just Malaysian drinks yep. but there are a couple of uh, countries that's originated from uh, so mm. one of them was Japan Korea Thailand I think Taiwan Taiwan, uh, Taiwan mm. China yeah. Yeah, yeah so I don't know this is local local per se but we are, we are assuming that it's from Malaysia la, for now but it's not right I'm assuming yeah. it's no. actually origin from China yes. this one from China. Both, from China both are from China yeah. Yeah. Uh, China if you're yeah. listening please bring more Chinese uh, drinks to us I don't think us. they're allowed to though but you never know <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway uh, what, what do you buy? Um, so I got this it's called Kang Shi Fu um, yes I heard that their drinks are very nice so I got this it's called Bing Tang Xue Li means it's uh Ice sugar with um, pear. a pear, pear. yes, yeah. pear. Mm. Yeah. Very icy, very refreshing also. You haven't mm. drink yet, how you know it's refreshing? Or you drink because before? I heard that it's refreshing. Yes, you heard it, good. Yes. Um, I like peach stuff. I, I don't know what I bought. I just know it's peach because I see the peach, I know it's peach. Peachy. It's, a, it's a peach soda. 
peach soda. Is sparkling it water? Sparkling water. Sparkling so water. no alcohol content. Uh, no, no alcohol. No, according to here, is like no fat, no sugar. I, I don't and know. It's, um, and it's, it's no it's calories. Cheap. I don't know. If it's... I think it's very suitable for you also. No calories. Yeah. No, no calories. Zero, 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 zero everything. It has zero calories. Zero calories. Oh, zero calories. I heard zero coloring. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, zero zero, zero sugar, zero, uh, zero fat. Cal- uh, fat and zero, zero calories. 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 Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm looking forward to try this. Uh, mm. I'm a big fan of peach flavors. So mm. why not we just try this today? Mm-hmm. So maybe for yourself, uh, why 100 plus today? All right, so I decided to go a bit local palette. So if let's say uh, you are kind of like bored with uh, 7-Up, Coca-Cola, <laughs> Pepsi. So this is the best drink. Uh, yeah, I show you with this. Wow, wow, wow. Influence, influence. Yeah, like, <laughs> hey, I make sure it will focus, okay? So this, when you are heaty, you can drink this. When you are like very tired, you can drink this. When you are sick, you can drink Yeah, when you are sick, you can drink this with warm water. Yeah, it's a good drink. Yes. <laughs> How about right. yourself? Right. So, yes, the other day, I brought the, uh, I showcased the pomegranate drink and then from the same brand itself, yes, I bought this. This is a peach one, a peach flavored uh, vinegar. And yes, I definitely have to mix it with water so that, yeah, I don't burn myself. So, so, so it's not uh, yogurt, not, not beer. No, no, no. <laughs> no, unfortunately, I didn't get to put any milk or any beer mm. to combine it. Oh. But yes, you can still mix it. Yes, in case you haven't heard us, the episode that I was in, you can mix it with water, you can mix it with uh, beer, and you can mix it with milk. If you mix it with milk, it will become something like a yogurt tea oh. uh, texture. Okay. Mm. So uh, apparently he's a very huge fan of this drink. Yes. So please uh, sponsor us so I can get more of this drink and try. <laughs> I'll, I'll be trying out this later on, or maybe later during the podcast uh, as we talk about anything and everything under the sun later on. Mm-hmm. But before we go into that, let's do a simple cheers uh, as, oh, yes. we, yeah, yeah, as, as we usher in the episode. <laughs> right. Ooh, nice. Yes. Oh wow. The, the smell of peach is strong. Uh, mm. How you guys want to cheers? You want to cheers in a Cantonese way or you want a Chinese way or what? Uh, <laughs> the, the Asian way. Asian yum way. Say, I think, right. I think it's yum we, saying. I don't we, know. Then we yum longer. Like wait, yeah. wait, so wow. wait, wait. How do you guys do it in, in, in KL? Oh, or at least in Malaysia? I mean, they do it in a way like they will say the yum very long until, oh, until, God. They, until their breath like almost. They'll drag it on. Drag. Yes. Don't need, don't need a short one can, but not so loud can because I don't want my audios to pick here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so la. you just do a very short. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah. That's just what I'm trying, I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. 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 How was it though? How was it? It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I quite like it a lot. Is it very gassy? It's not very gassy, yeah, surprisingly. But it's hmm. so it, it's a sparkling water. It's sparkling water. Even though it's, no, no. it's 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 freezy, right? It's not as gassy as I thought it could be. Because it's not soda. It's sparkling water. Sparkling. Hey, some sparkling waters can be quite freezy, you know that. That's true. Yep, yep. Yeah. So uh, for this episode of the podcast, um, we don't really plan anything much for, for, for today. Mm-hmm. But we're just going to let the time uh, limit um, of 45 minutes for this episode. So it could be more, it could be less, uh, depending on how juicy the topics are. But uh, for mm-hmm. we're going to do 20 minutes for the first half. And we're going to do 25 minutes for the next half. I mean, the topic can be under the sun, uh, really. So we just we, uh, select one topic first, then we'll go from there. So we'll just like go accordingly to the flow. Uh, mm-hmm. And then what? Okay. Yeah, okay. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's, let's just begin with something very, very light. Um, so the both of you guys are, are, are from KL, right? Um, not him. I'm oh, yes, you're not from, from KL. KL. <gasps> yes, you're from JB. Is yes. It? Oh, yeah, you're from JB. Oh. So you are from, from KL? Yeah, I'm from KL. So uh, if do you mind sharing like what's the difference between KL and JB? In terms of like the lifestyle wise. And also yeah. now you're also from, from, from Sabah as well. Mm-hmm. So the three of you guys can really compare a lot. And yeah. I, as a Singaporean, I'm just going to be like just listening and, <laughs> and just... Not, not, mm, I'm yeah. just going to, um, yes, I'm yes. going to pretend that I know everything. <laughs> but yeah. the nearest place is 
from your end is JB. Yes, I, I've been to JB quite often as a kid la. But in terms of uh, how often was it, probably like once every a few weekends kind la. But that was as a kid because I do have a family car back then. So we will always drive up to the Woodlands checkpoint. So we'll cross the checkpoint and then we'll just be like uh, jala jala bit for like a bit uh, like, like city, uh, city square. So that's one of them. Then uh, KSL is one of them. So just go, go around here and there. Why are you so surprised? <laughs> oh, I, I didn't realize that during your, back in your days, that, that mall was already existing. That exists? <laughs> Wasn't that mall like very old? Okay, now that I think of it, it is old. It is old. I, I lived in the days where that mall, that particular mall hasn't been built yet. What? Oh? Yes. Oh, Wait, how long was that mall? Uh, I think it's less than 20 years. Mm-hmm. Less than the math, The math checks out. I think when, I, when I'm there, right, KSL is considered as pretty a new it's considered as a pretty new mall. I went there when I was like a maybe ten years old or something. Mm-hmm. I mean a decade old is still considered as new, I would say, to me like at least. Because as compared to many of the malls nearby, right? It's a pretty new mall itself. Yes. Yeah. I might be wrong la, because my memory of JB is as good as my memory of KL. It's just <laughs> very vague. It was still pretty popular like uh, around fifteen years ago. 10, 10 to 15 years ago. Yes, that, that exposes my age a little bit, but mm-hmm. let's not go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we'll just keep it there. Yeah. yeah. How, how about for KL? Okay, all right. Um, okay, the only thing that I know about JB is probably from my textbook, geography textbook. I'm so sorry, I didn't been there before. But I heard a bit about here and there because my, aunt, my aunt itself, she worked, uh, she worked as a bus driver in as, uh, in Singapore mm-hmm. so she will pass here and there la. Mm-hmm. so that's the only thing I only heard I didn't been there before so I kind of want to find one day to be there uh, as a grown up as a KL kid I've been I think I got go back to my uh, kampong last time used to go back to Kara uh, Tanjung Sepat and then um, Kara Tanjung Sepat and then one of it is called Bahau so uh, at least I feel a bit of village life I'm not a fully city kid. Mm. <laughs> At least I still understand how it, how does it work lah. But I didn't play like them lah because I'm in a totally different situation. <laughs> I, yeah. I think I mentioned this in the previous episode mm. about how impressed I was with KL lah. Uh, I did say a lot of good things. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, please don't find me. <laughs> I did say that uh, my impression of, of KL was very vague lah 10 years ago. And compared to now, right? I would say that I'm pleasantly surprised la, by how accessible things are, especially for, I would say, transportation. Mm-hmm. Because back then, what I remembered was just monorail. Yeah. I don't know how much was the system back then, la, but that was what I remembered. And partly because I always drive, uh, I mean, I was in uh, like people's cars, like my relatives' mm-hmm. cars. I so I, I never really walked as far as just a shopping mall. Mm. So as a kid, like we, and even we walk around, we usually walk around, we don't take the transportation, we yeah, don't take yeah, the LRT, okay. we don't take MRT. Yeah. So I mentioned in the previous episode like, oh, I am able to see everything and everything. Mm. And that's, that's why I have found a new found appreciation for KL. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that because mm. I don't think that back then when I was a kid, everything you need to go by your own transportation, like your own car oh. or what, yeah. Because it's quite hard also because uh, there's only LRT back then. Before I was in my college year, like during secondary or what, everything was very hard to access until the MRT build up and then the LRT, they extended some of the line and then that's why it's more accessible compared to last time. Last time, like every every place you need to drive, is quite hard. Lah. Now, mm. with MRT, it's more better. Last time, it's at least 5 years ago. <laughs> yeah. But by yes, then, at least five years, at least, at least five years ago, yeah, oh. when I was still a kid, mm. still oh. young, dumb, and broke. <laughs> um, okay. That that's pretty interesting because yeah. right, KL is a uh, very public transportation uh friendly. It's a melting pot lah, basically. I mm. I don't think you guys have tried lah, but if you try, there's called a KL bus. I forget what is the name of it. I think it's called John KL. Go KL. Go KL, yeah. Mm. Thank you. So 
So that that one uh, is free. They got like bring you to like particular place like KL Tower, all of it. Like the area. sightseeing places, yeah. is it? Yeah, purple, mm. purple line, green line. That one is also quite okay. Mm. Not bad. So it's like city tours, ah. Uh, it's not a city tour, but that one is for local. City tour, that one is another another kind of bus. Oh. So these bus, uh, like Go KL and the other smart buses, like yeah. some in Subang Jaya, mm. TJ, uh, Kajang, these are buses that built to they are provided to uh, encourage people to take public transport more often. Yep. Mm. Because they uh, the government has also helped in building more train stations, LRT, MRT stations. Okay, like I said, right, KL is very transportation friendly. Mm. So you got all the buses, got all the all the trains and everything. But how is it compared to to JB and Sabah? Especially Sabah. Ooh, don't don't <laughs> see, even compare. See, you no. can't compare because there is there is there is very little. You see, that's a problem. I know you guys are laughing because there's very little. But then how do you guys travel around if you don't have a car? <laughs> you okay? Wait, 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 <laughs> You, you, is... you got into the correct uh, you got, you got into, into the correct, correct one <laughs> yeah yeah okay there's a bigger comparison yeah you see it's, it's very different to, to KL because everywhere is accessible yes. but mm. but JB is a JB and Sabah is going to be a different story I haven't been in Sabah it's yet it's a way different story like, mm-hmm. don't even go into it man yeah, yeah. it's the, the end exp- of the other spectrum yes yeah. this it's... is accessible very very accessible yeah that is wow yeah, I mean, out. it's still accessible. It's just like a, most, not all of the places you have to get get to by private cars. Mm. Like buses, there are still buses, but I don't think like local people like us would want to go onto the bus. It's called Bus Berhenti Henti. I don't know if you heard of it before. No, never. Yeah. Never. It's like, it's basically like a public bus also, but it's like no aircon. Uh, it's a very like rundown kind of bus and it's driven by for um, I mean it's always driven by foreign workers but I don't know about here but yeah it's a very shabby and shady um, public transportation that's available only available <laughs> so yeah everywhere you go it's by car or you can uh, hire an elephant if you want to you know what they think, right? Like if let's say KL, we do not we know nothing about Sabah, right? The last time we assumed we you thought we thought that they take crocodile. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, what's the crocodile thing? Crocodile. Yeah, crocodile. Yes, we live on trees. Have you heard of the tree tree story? Yeah. Uh? No, no, not Sabah really. Sabah has really. to all live on trees. But you cheap. did but you did tell me about the, the <laughs> you have to share the joke. Is it is it appropriate to share? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you share the joke. Yes, uh, a lot of other countries. Uh, I won't name them, uh, but a lot of other countries when they hear about Malaysia and then when they know that Malaysia is a country with a lot of rainforest, uh, rainforest. yeah, it's a tro- more tropical area, <laughs> yes. Yes. so they'll assume that we all live on trees. Yes. And so we, I think we had this joke yesterday about, oh, I shall return to my tree, my huge tree. And then I'll, I'll let my leaves or the branches carry me up <laughs> to my tree house. Yeah, and then that tree, that, part, that tree that I live in has a lot of houses, a lot of units. So it, it's huge trees. How, 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 how even, man? How <laughs> even? How, uh, I think that's even a just... sarcastic way of... I know, but how even? Imagine. Like, is the, is the kind of generalization that the people have and they yeah. thought they thought that we are like that mm. but now we aren't uh, but we are in halfway half because way. when they when they hear like oh rainforest country the the whole thing must be like rainforest it's yes. it's not it's not developed it's not like cut down maybe they just adapt to the rainforest yes, exactly. i i hate to say this uh, because um, my my mom my mom's hometown is at Taiping. Yeah. Then oh. Taiping is like full of rainforest. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 my impression of Malaysian kampong has been just rainforest, yeah. random house in the in the random service road, yeah. by the service road, that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. as in like I know there is there's the existence of KL. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So nothing. Okay. So don't add me in this. Just saying that, uh, I know the 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 high city life. Yeah. 
and you compare it with the with the like I wouldn't say poverty. Mm. That's the wrong way of saying the it. The other end of the, the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum. Yeah. So like you have the kampong life, like, like the simple, yeah, simple and easy life. Yes. I've been to this kind of places. Mm-hmm. Um and I actually quite enjoy the slow life. Because in Singapore it's all fast life. Yeah, People yeah. think Singapore is crazy rich Asians. So, yeah, but, but the problem <laughs> the problem is that crazy rich Asians is 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 there's just, just quite Malaysia. a bit yeah shot in Malaysia. Which is I mean, you're not Ironically. You're not wrong in shop in Singapore, but quite a bit of it is shot in Malaysia. Yeah. So I think it's also a bit of media exaggerating things. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So where got where got mentioned in Singapore so big one? Wow, <laughs> eh, if if you got mentioned in Singapore that bear, you must be like filthy rich, eh? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> let's just say that we're looking at not just uh, just not just millionaires. Mm. We're looking at maybe uh double, triple digits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's really quite expensive to to own land, ma. Because mm. Singapore is very small by itself. Yep. And um you cannot say that, oh, uh, I want to have more land because I have more land. We don't have more land. So we have to reclaim for more land, ma. Fill up. We need to <laughs> fill up the beaches. <laughs> So that's, that's all we have. That's the problem. So that's why like uh, we had to reclaim land and reclaiming land is very expensive as well. So it drives us up property prices in some sense. I may be wrong, but I think logically it makes sense to me. Lah. So it, it drives us up the property prices and there's demand for it. Then there is there's scarcity for it. So mm-hmm. that's why it's expensive. Lah. Yeah. So I think growing up, right, I, I mean, I've always been living in apartments. Lah, so I never lived in... Um, like landed private house. properties or landed house yeah okay. I'm not going to let you guys review where you are staying exactly okay. la. Mm. Yeah, but I'm just letting you know that I have never stayed in uh, a, a private property before as in I've been to Malaysia for private properties mm. because some of my relatives do live in private properties mm. but the problem is that I have never felt safe living in a private property because you know people can just jump over Oh, they um, they, technically they can yes, yeah. if they want to yeah. if they want to just jump over yes. it doesn't mean got security or not as in people just jump over ma. Yeah. in Singapore there's no security it's just literally all exposed to the roads ma. there's no like a dedicated section for security before you can drive your car or walk in oh. that's for condominiums oh is it yeah so if you didn't know right this is actually for condominiums you can only have security guards but if you if you own a private property like bungalows, terrace houses, all that, it's just a gate. That's it. So I never felt very safe. La. Unless like in Malaysia, that's different. I felt a little bit more safer. La. But anybody can just jump in, yes. bring in, you are gone. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be wondering, hey, where's all my money? Where's all my belongings? Why is my door open? <laughs> <laughs> why is my door open? For what? So, so living in apartments to me is still okay because... Any you have one know. entry point only. Yeah, you still have a Except the bus- if the person is a Spider-Man, it's a different story. La. Hey, it does. It does happen like, to it- my condominium. Like, oh. 10 years back or 20. Hey, my condominium have five fifth floor. So, there's really a Spider-Man. He climbed up to... <laughs> the, he climbed up to on top the ceiling and then he jumped down and then he still steal my neighbor's stuff. And then came out. Then oh. I'll be like... No. Yeah. Legit. I don't know where he climbed, but on top there's a hole la, so that person just jump in and then take there's my neighbors. Hole on top Balcony, la. ceiling, yeah, things yeah, like ce- that. Yeah, ceiling. How mm. is it even possible? Yeah, that's why. I'm still I'm still, <laughs> I'm still thinking how. <laughs> but, but, but not your duty, right? Huh? Not your duty, right? My neighbor, next to Oh, oh you lucky. <laughs> <laughs> You're very fortunate. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm too poor to don't rob me. I'm very poor. <laughs> so you lucky maybe your next neighbor is a rich person? La. I can't say that. I'm, I, I may but do you know or not? I do not know. I don't want to know. Okay, so do, do, do you normally interact with your neighbors or not? Uh, only my mom. <laughs> oh. You know, the auntie skill is uh, she will like like the entire neighborhood. Yeah, she's my friend. They, are, they, will, they will have their own communication. Mm. Someone feel offended. By that statement, auntie skill. Yeah, <laughs> you feel offended. You are auntie. <laughs> I thought you are a feline. <laughs> yeah, I, I am not a mere feline. Just that, uh, I I have my my red my chances of meeting people randomly and, and talk to them and oh. making friends. Yeah. 
Oh, I didn't mention to you. Huh? <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> Until then, I'm still thinking, how the hell that 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 thief can climb up to fifth floor just to take things and then go down? I think the better question you should be asking is that how the thief even go into your condominium first? Mm-hmm, Come from the outside, ma. Mm. Oh, can you Somehow, steal gate, right? Um, no. We have actually the gate is been is there's only one gate, and there's security. Mm. Don't know back then may not know the security. So nobody ever knows brain what happened cannot, la. Then the police do know. Brain cannot brain. Unpredictable. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of of buildings, right? Um, mm. I I mean I'm still in my my KL trip, but today's my second last day. But I, I think I mentioned this um in my previous episode about the floor namings. So I am very confused by it and I think <laughs> this is a mystery that I would love to like hear maybe like different perspectives of this love. And then maybe as From Malaysians, more right? Locals. Yeah, more locals especially, like how Malaysians deal with the namings. So as a Singaporean, right, we, we do name our buildings as um basement one, basement two, basement three, then level one, level two, level three oh. onwards. If there's a rooftop, maybe they'll name it as a rooftop, but I doubt they will name it as that. Lah. They'll name it as a number by itself. Uh-huh. But most of the time, when I'm in um, when I'm in KL, or at least in Malaysia so far, what I notice is that it's mostly B1, B2, B3, mm. then there's an LG. Sometimes you've got LG1, LG2, depending on how complex the building is. Lah. <laughs> then got G, which yes. is the ground level. Yes, ground then there is the upper ground then upper ground two or whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Then sometimes there is the le- then start with level one. Yeah. Then the level two, level three, level four. Then sometimes got uh four A, four B. Ah, or yeah. they call it uh five M or something. Uh. Okay, okay. So how would you explain all of this to me? Okay, for my side, I let's say I just take a quick example uh to compare. So my working building, I think I assume that is a China they I think they build it, so they build that. Thing. So they are kind of like pantang. That means that they don't like the number four. It's a taboo. Yes, it's a taboo. So um, let's say the fourth floor we call it as um, what is it Three uh? A. Usually, okay. yes. yeah. If it's twenty four, it's called twenty four A. So if onward is, eh hey, no, it's called as no twenty three A. Twenty three A. Yeah, twenty three A. Yeah. So we start with the A. So you didn't heard the word. Sale? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, four in, in Chinese it's uh, pronounced as si, mm. and then uh si, it's very similar to death. Die. Death. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, death or die, yeah. Die. And then also even in like Cantonese, it's along that mm. very similar. Basically four is a bad number. Four is a, uh, yeah, for them it's like a, uh, how taboo. to say, uh, yeah, taboo number. Hey, why not you just say A is also a good number? Everything A, 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 B, A, C. <laughs> Everything all A. <laughs> No, we don't work that way. <laughs> they only taboo on four. Yeah, I don't so think it works that way. Then, then I have a question though. What, what if it's like the third floor onwards? What do they call it like what? 3A1? 30th floor onwards? Yeah, 30th floor. Fourth, like 40th. 40th onwards. I should be asking that question now. Oh, sorry. Yes, 40, 40th floor onwards. Then I think, yeah. A1, they just skip the whole floor. Actually, so it skip the whole 40th floor. Uh. No, 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 they won't skip it, but they put it like A1 or A2, that kind of thing. I think that one also oh, possible. Really? This one I'm not sure. But might be possible, but normally we won't have that. We don't oh, usually top. have uh, that tall. Mm. We, well, condominiums not. No, not I'm, I'm quite curious how the Petronas Tower named their f- uh, floors now. I haven't been there for a long time. Cannot you haven't been there for a long time? Uh, I've been there for my internship, but I forget already, but... That one is kind of crazy also. Oh, okay, but they but they didn't um they didn't um think about the taboos la. Mm-hmm. They just do it normally, but yeah. can up to like level 79, 80. Above. I know it's a 70 plus building. Yes, it is. But I miss builder, was it? I'm not sure, but I know some are more and I, if I call correctly. I might be wrong, so editors note there, yeah. yeah. No, during my first day of internship, I've been I need to switch a few lifts just to go to my that building wow. because it's quite like like for example from basement you need to go in from the gate and then from the gate you need to go to the first lift mm-hmm. first lift and then you go up and then you go to the second lift just to reach to to your office lot mm. basically that's how a lot of the office uh, places that i've been to mm. 
I visited some office spaces. That's how they work. Yep. They need the main main one, the mm. main entrance, and then the main lifts, just for you to reach a certain level. levels. The few certain levels. These few certain levels will be for like general visitations. Yes. And after you reach like one particular level, there's gonna be a different leaf. Yeah. Yes. So it's a connection leaf, lah. Like, yeah. I'll call it. That's that's normal, as in, even in Singapore, not just for office buildings, even. Normal HDB buildings, we already starting to have that already. Mm -hmm. So that's becoming more of a maze. I just did a quick Google search. Uh, it's eighty eight floors. For I mean tower one, I'm seeing lah. But yeah, I, tower one exactly. It's only tower, but I don't know the second tower same or not But I it should be the same. I, it's the same, but we have a connection bridge. Oh, just a fun fact to let you know. So the connection bridge, that's the one uh below there is for visitor, right? Mm -hmm. For us, we have one connection bridge also, but, it's, the, but it's free, uh. <laughs> FOC. Uh? Yes, we got a connection bridge to connect to another tower. So, tower 1 to tower 2 and then we go out. Uh. Yeah, they have a secret link. Yeah, the secret they, link? Yeah, they have a, it's on top only. It's on top of the visitor bridge. Uh? On, yes. The more you know. Yeah. How is it a secret bridge? It's, uh, I'm looking at the photo now of, of a Petronas Tower. How is that a secret bridge? Yeah, there is a bridge. There is a bridge. Okay. I mean, it's probably like that That bridge, right? It's separated into two floors. Two floors. Yes, by itself. it's separated into two floors. Mm. Yeah. So but they the, don't let you know, of course. Yep. Wow. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. That's something I didn't know. Wait, is this secret exposed? <laughs> I, do, do people know about this, this, this secret bridge? I'm not sure about it, but it oh, is right. la, It does happen la. So oh. uh, my sponsor just tell us like this is like once in your lifetime you need to. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly because we <laughs> because the visitor they need to pay for it la. But last time for internship we are intern then we can we got the chances to go there for visit la, like to walk free. through yeah for free and then we take pictures la. You know the obviously the fancy stuff yes. <laughs> So was the was the the view as good as yes it is so it had the the, the, the normal stuff like all yeah, the yeah it's the normal stuff just that the visitor need to pay and in terms of secret pay, bridge yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by secret bridge but it's not as, I, I don't think it's, it's a, a secret it's just, bridge. A, it's just a, a hidden passageway that's not accessible to the visitors. Yeah. Okay, I may want to relook at the at the Petronas Tower again. <laughs> but I, okay, mm. but if it's really that secret, then good lah. But I don't think it's some invincible thing lah. It, it's not invisible. It's yeah. just you don't. You it's just that we don't know. Yeah, we'll never know. Yeah, just yeah. like it's aliens, we don't know. We never know. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. we're just gonna go for a quick, uh, uh, a quick toilet break, uh, a quick you know, break from this uh, conversation, and we'll come back. We're gonna talk more about anything. I mean, we're probably gonna leave off from 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 Petronas Tower and you know, from <laughs> LG, LG. LG. LG, yes, you yeah. need to answer LG. the questions. LG. You need to answer the question. Why no, LG? you need to answer the question. Now I know from her. Why need to answer the question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna continue from there later on, uh, and I'll see you guys um from um the second for the second part. Hello everybody, welcome back uh, for the second part of this uh, podcast. Um, yes, we just found out that we didn't answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in case what question she was trying to answer is that um, what was the purpose behind UG, LG, G, 1A, 2B, and then uh, uh, random... No, no, no. I mean, that's, that's different. That's depending on the building itself. But... Mm -hmm. But I think the biggest question is how will it, how will you classify basement, lower ground, upper ground, and ground? So how will you classify? And how do a typical uh, commoner, uh, if they go to a building, they will know that it's a street level? Oh, okay. Mm. Without looking at the directory. Uh. Oh, okay. I think mm. for me, I think I last time I think I read about uh, articles or what they talk about. Like, actually, the upper ground, lower ground thing uh, is because of last time British. I think uh, because like England stuff, right? So they basically, they name the floor thing accordingly to start start from ground floor, I think. Then the LG lower ground basement is all depending on the building itself, like how they name it. So B is basically basement. Uh -huh. I'm not sure with the ABC thing, but 
the thing that I know was basement basement one or like B one B one and then G and then lower ground upper ground and then normally it's like start with ground floor and then one two three four five onwards. Mm -hmm. I can so, tell you straight. Oh, sorry, yeah. I can tell you straight away. Uh, there is such like those ABCs, lah. Uh, yeah. There is already in this in this condom condominium. So I'm staying in the in the residence uh, for Airbnb. There are already some floors they skip out. Uh, yeah, like what you say, the floors or something. Mm -hmm. But they skip out certain floors and they skip out. Uh, on they they add they add additional like A's and B's or oh. M's or whatever. So yeah. just mm -hmm. to add on on that, lah. Uh, yeah. You're saying it's for mezzanine. What do you mean? Uh, usually, I, I've been to a few places that have this uh, uh, category of M inside the floor namings. Uh, it's for mezzanine where you have, like, let's say your whole building or your whole floor is a little bit too high and you have an extension, so you split in half. Huh? So, this is the normal third, let's say, uh, Back in my, my university itself, uh, one of the blocks. So this is the third floor, and then there's another staircase that goes to the mezzanine floor. Oh. Or some people call it 3M, but other other floors they don't have M. Mm. Okay. Uh, that that maybe that explains yeah. that itself. Uh. Mm. I'm not seeking for any explanations, but I'm just wondering like maybe how will you classify it law? Like where where will you go to go for a street level? Uh, for me, normally I would choose either first floor or ground floor because when below ground floor, that means that that, that area is for probably like full area Parking. or one. Parking, mm. all of those. So, uh, we'll normally skip that one. We'll go to like first floor or second floor. Yeah, or even ground floor. La. Normally, if let's say shopping center ground, even for ground floor, they are like, for example, the food street, all of it is uh, among that floor. Then, then only first floor. First floor is like like got like uh, shop lots. And then second, third, like that. So look, this is how we recognize that floor mm. floor level. Mm. Yep. Okay. How about you? How will you explain L G G and U G? <laughs> Sounds like some code now. <laughs> I think uh, L G L G is a uh, more easier understanding. Like what she mentioned, mostly mm. people will have. Uh, food items there. Yep. It's not really like the, uh, it's not really like the basement level. Yep. It could be a slope. It could be. This ah, place is a slope. Yeah. Yep. And then, uh, uh, this is the normal normal street level. Mm. And then you can still head downwards. Just that you haven't reached the basement level yet. Mm. So you can still get there. And then this is the lower ground floor. Mm. And uh, lower ground floor usually usually it will be more enclosed, more enclosed. So people, if they were to sell food things like that, it's within that whole area. Oh. Mm. And UG UG, uh, just from my what I'm thinking, right, it could be if your ground floor, uh, if you attend, go to have hotels, let's say you go to hotels, and then they have a a big, uh, ground floor, the lab, uh, that ground level. And then, uh, just like the mezzanine floor concept earlier, uh, they split into they can split their floor into two two levels. So that that one on uh, I would categorize it as a upper ground, mm -hmm. but with it uh, still being connected. Yep. It's not like you go up the stairs, then you won't be able to see the ground floor. Mm. Okay. To me, to me, mm. that would be how I would name it. But generally. I'll, I'll still go with ground floor, first floor, unless I'm in somewhere that's more dominated by Chinese, uh, more Chinese-centric locations, yep. then it will be first floor, second floor, third floor onwards. Yep. The ground level will be first floor. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Yep. That is a more easier method for those Chinese-centric uh, locations. Yep. Interesting. So that means depending on what's the, the race that is dominated in in, in the building, it's accordingly to the, the floor naming culture itself. Yes. And also depend on the developer also. Mm. Because oh. when it comes to the developer, they will build their way differently. La. Like for example, the taboo thing is because of the China developer. Okay. Yep. Different de developer, they will follow by their different rules when it comes to this kind of thing. Oh, interesting, interesting. Then how about for, for I mean, you've been to other countries as well, right? So, 
you I, I you told me privately that you did study over um at UK before. Mm-hmm. Yes. So how is the, the, the building naming like? Do you find it confusing or do you coming do you find it more confusing coming back here? Um I mean where I studied there were not a lot of I mean the the, the, the city that I was studying in it's not like a very huge city so there's not really a lot of tall buildings per se so it's normally would be just like three or four story so you don't really need a lift that much but from what I recall they would usually do just like ground first second third and then they have basement also that that's basically like the parking lots Mm -hmm. then just like ground ground meets street level then like first second third floor like that Oh, okay. Mm, so it's it's I, it's pretty similar like this. Pretty of similar, yes. Uh, and then for my hometown, yeah, because our land is probably just like if the city area is basically like just flat land, so they just build like from from the base, so ground first, second, third, and onwards. So it's I think it's not as complicated as it is here. Mm. Yeah. So how about like different kinds of culture shocks? In terms of coming back from from UK and then um, now that you you come back to to Malaysia and mm-hmm. also maybe for you guys, mm-hmm. do you have any particular culture shocks that you've experienced uh, from coming from overseas and then coming back to 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 uh, Malaysia? Coming to overseas from time to time. Okay, maybe but we talk about pre-COVID, from, uh, Yeah. Uh, from Johor itself with KL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From Johor itself in KL. Can be because it's a different country. <laughs> I, I think as a, a different region. Yeah. Even mm. in Malaysia itself, with the different regions like the southern, the northern yeah, part, yeah. the uh, west and the east parts. Mm. Okay. Uh, there, there will definitely be, be culture, ch- cultural differences. Yep. <laughs> like in terms of naming items, in terms of how we, <laughs> how we say things as well. Uh, even even our national language, Bahasa Melayu, some areas depending on the regions, yeah. they have different different words for for different things. Yeah. Mm. Uh, just like I can't remember the particular ones yet. Uh, one of it is if you order drinks in, if you order drinks in KL and like Johor, mm-hmm. you want to get those normal Chinese tea, Chinese tea. Oh, yes. So here it's. Uh, in KL, it's either you you say uh uh yi cha, yi cha. or yep. uh sweet cha, mm. which means hot tea or iced tea. Yep. But for for my side, mm. for Johor, oh. uh, it's straight away you say oh tang cha. Huh? Tang cha is Chinese tea. Tang cha. Tang cha. Mm. Uh, Nani? Yes. <laughs> 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 yes. That 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 it already itself in itself it's it's something that's then how different. Uh, how they know that the your tang cha is hot or cold? Then only you say lah, you want hot or cold. <laughs> that is very ma So no, that's efficient. I want cold, uh, I want hot, easy. Uh, uh, I would uh, say we want yi cha, then yi cha lo. If you want yes, it's directly in, yeah. in shi cha, using then shi cha lo. Mm. Hot tea, mm. then cold tea. Yep. Mm. Ours is Chinese tea. We have to be particular in like oh Chinese tea. Hot Chinese tea, cold, and then uh, then with the other other tea, then those will give the their yeah, respective names. Wow, then like even in in Sabah is different. Chinese tea we call it Chinese tea, yeah. Oh. And then if you want ice Chinese tea, you call it Chinese tea ping. Oh. Yes, yes, ping. This one is also uh, something oh, that is something mm. that's a uh, a difference. Yeah, it's kind of new for Kiao and uh and. Johor, mm. yeah, because I know uh, some things like uh, Milo, Milo ice. We we order drinks like Milo, and then for us in Johor, usually we can say uh, oh, Milo ping, and then that is a slightly different method of calling it here. Oh, mm. uh. so I think the ping thing is because from you guys, because I think the naming is like Coco P ping, Milo ping, and then we like ping. <laughs> okay, then maybe for Singapore wise, right? I think the biggest difference is that yeah, for tea wise, I mean if you go to like, those Chinese restaurants, uh, mm-hmm. not your typical kopi, kopi pin, hot kopi or kind of stuff, uh, yeah. um, they will say they will just say um Chong Go Cha. 
啊，有些鸡花茶，有些啊绿茶。So、basically, what kind of like what, what you get? Then you will still say like what we want. Like we will say we are cold or hot. But usually, right when you go to those Chinese restaurants, if you want those kind of teas, right, usually people just serve you hot immediately. Unless you say I want it cold, and you need that hot one out usually, because most people will serve you just the typical, um, like with every like everybody in the table will receive the. The, the hot cups la. so oh. that's the assumption they will give you I know it also because I've been to other parts of Malaysia and it's pretty similar but in Singapore that's how we will call it la. I may be wrong because I don't order enough tea but based on how much I've seen it's usually like this yeah, yeah. Oh, very similar it's just that the naming is a bit different then Mm-hmm. Yes, you still got Jiwa Cha, yes, correct, I know. Then, then, then one thing I realized that when I was in, was in KL uh, is that um, you guys call it, um, we call it Yin Yang. Mm. Uh, then you guys call it Cham. Yes, Cham. Uh, Cham Bang. What, what is Cham? Uh? Mm. Cham is Champo in Malay. Ah, it's I see. Champo in Malay and also uh, uh, it's Champo in Malay. Uh, Champo in Malay and also uh, it's more Hokkien. of the yeah, Hokkien, Hokkien and then quite considered, quite derived from the M also. Uh. Mm. Mm. I almost thought it was a new drink. No, no, no. You it's see? Not, it's not that's how bad it was. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Yeah, that's why it's kind of like, I I thought I ordered teh that time, but when it come, eh, I ordered chum, eh, and then he asked, like, and then uh, KHP is like, what chum is this? <laughs> yes, because I, I didn't I didn't realize it was it was in young. <laughs> First, I was trying her, she was also, she ordered. She, she ordered order the ch- same thing, just that yeah. it's hot. This is hot. Then yours is just cold. Yeah, exactly. And then you drink, right? Because I okay, I didn't know she ordered uh uh she ordered uh uh cham. That's the problem. You see, I didn't know. You didn't know where? I thought you ordered coffee. No. You see, I didn't hear properly. Your ear need to. Uh, Your ear really need digging, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because I my impression was that it was kopi and I really thought it was kopi, so I didn't really think too much. You thought mm. mine is a new thing. Yeah, I thought yours is a new thing. Said, how come I say how come well oh, yours is in young ah? Uh, then you say it's cham. Then you tell me that yours is also cham. I'm like, eh, this is the same thing, but and yours is just, no, just actually I understand your term. Just that I say it's yeah, it's cham because it's the same thing. Mm. Yeah. Um, Generally in KL it's yeah, that's the term. Yeah, I see. Same, same, <laughs> same, 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 but different. Yes, same. So much differences, but so so many similarities. The one is better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm saying this on the behalf of myself. Uh, I think it's yeah, they are not wrong. <laughs> they are not wrong. <laughs> but out of all the the the, the Malaysian foods and and Singapore food lah, mm. I still like my my Hokkien mee. Then you guys will be like, what ah, is Hokkien Mee? Wait, wait, See, no, Hokkien Mee is the black color one. I, I know. No, I know no what. black color one is the is white it? one. It's not the black color one. The yeah. black color one is KL representative. Yeah. We call it uh, we call it as Fujian Mian or AKA Tai Lok Mee. Mm. Hokkien, uh. Mee. Hokkien Mee. Mm. And then when you ask the Penang Nights, you don't we don't go there. <laughs> yeah, I see. I know I know it's very sensitive when talk, talking about food, but but I, 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 I agree that a lot of food in, in, in Malaysia is pretty good. Like even from the those shop houses, yeah. those lot houses, uh, from the restaurants, the cafes to the high-end tiers, they're all very good, very consistently. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to um, when, when it comes to Hokkien Mee, that's what I have to disagree. La. To me, I still prefer my own one. Because it's, it's much more, I think it's much more prawn-based. La. It's more Maybe. stocky. Oh. Yeah, it's no, very it's pork. Yeah, yeah, correct. So it's more pork based and prawn based, but yours is the more the uh, I I always I forgot already. Uh, but yeah, it's mixture of like dark soy sauce. Yeah, la soya sauce. Soya like sauce, not soya soy sauce. Soy soya sauce. It's soy sauce. It's soya sauce. Yes. So I'm I'm not I'm not, I'm I just saying that uh, for that I have my own preference. So, mm. so it's not that I hate it. It just it's I just prefer. Mm. Other than that. Uh, laksa, yeah, I still prefer like Malaysian laksa. Wait, what laksa? Oh, oh, oh yes. Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shall we talk about it quickly? What? I, I haven't actually tried other, other, a lot of other laksa as well. Mm. But Johor side, our laksa, I think it's, pers- I personally think it's nice. Uh. I tried KL one. Uh, yeah, mm. I, I will agree with that. Like, KL laksa is not that good. But again, 
uh, KL will be have different kind of laksa also because sometimes they go like the Sarawak laksa, mm. Minang laksa, mm. and then Malay laksa. Malay laksa is another different thing. Oh, wow. Malay got laksa. Yes. Malay laksa. Oh. Malay laksa, they are, their meat is different also. Mm. We have a different, in KL, we, we got to try different kind of laksa. You see, mm. see Singapore, we need to up our game for laksa. <laughs> we only have just laksa. We call it just called laksa just, or... It should, it should become just laksa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, that brand called just, <laughs> just laksa. <laughs> Uh, Justin, we are open for, for, for sponsorship. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, we, we just have laksa. But I mean, there are different kinds of laksa, but, mm. but usually we generalize. Mm. So the one with the coconut paste, with the shrimp paste, that mm. what we call it as laksa. Mm. Yeah, that, that's, that's basically our general term for laksa. I mean, there's different kinds. There's curry laksa, yeah. there's all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we just call it curry, you see? We don't call it curry laksa usually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see? Whoa, whoa. You see? Yeah, you see, that's why it's very, it's, it's very... <laughs> I call it, uh, uh, the whole side, we call it curry laksa, but, and then we also got the Malay one, that's yeah. one is called laksa Johor. Yes. Uh, that yes. one is... That's why it's another kind of term already. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 That's why, like, I think there's a lot of, there's a, there's a lot of good food, but the problem is that there's a lot, there's a lot of generalization. Mm, so it's yes. like, it's, it's, it's melting pot, but at the same time, it's not as good of a variety when you come to like countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam. Mm-hmm. Well, we do celebrate diversity. Yeah. yeah. We do also, but I think the culture in Singapore is, I would say dying. La. Let's be honest. You go to, you ask to any like uh, Asian countries, what is your culture? They will tell you a lot about it. Mm-hmm. Not say that Singapore don't have. It's just that, not only because we are a new country, mm-hmm. but what will you represent Let's just say national costume. People just say, oh, the, the Singapore Airlines costume. Because that is so iconic. But that's not culture, culture. That is the culture being marketed mm. as a, consumer, a consumerism. Mm, agreed. So that's why, like, when you say there's culture in Singapore, technically you are not wrong, but you are wrong at the same time. Because it's borrowed from many cultures from different countries. Then it's all come together in Singapore. So that's why like, I don't like the fact that we don't have a, a Singaporean identity. Oh, yeah. But in other countries, right, it's so easy to pinpoint what you guys have. Malaysia trade, Asia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is just my own personal opinion. It doesn't truly reflect any Singaporeans out there. But what I'm trying to say is that uh, in, because I grew up knowing that there isn't much of a culture. Yep. Because we... We are only brought up as like, oh, we have four cultures. Our four cultures is Singapore, uh, sorry, not Singapore. Our four cultures is Chinese, Malay, Indians, and Eurasians. Angmo. Angmo, oh, basically. Oh, oh yeah. So, so that's our four Eurasians. national uh, races. Mm. But I don't know why they call it as Eurasians, because even though we are already, we already gained independence from, Mm-hmm. from 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 uh uk and then the japanese uh, occupation right they still classify it as eurasians mm-hmm. so the, the national identity the yeah national identity, that's the where place. the confusion comes you know i feel mm-hmm. so that's why like i think that is isn't exactly a true singaporean culture mm-hmm. so the singaporean culture is coming more from um i would say how we live law mm-hmm. that's the, the unique thing about us la yeah, so I think at the end of the day, right, uh, I, I, I find it a, a privilege uh, and, and a blessing to travel overseas, mm. to experience different cultures and mm. to really understand their heritage and where they come from, mm. the history and everything. So like countries like Malaysia, right, it's so easy to get absorbed to the different cultures of different races and uh, different ethnicity. Yep. You need to visit Malacca. Yeah. Oh. That is a very interesting place. It's a it's a uh, considered what heritage was it? Uh, I think UNESCO they, UNESCO heritage. Yeah. Uh, they have a Portuguese uh, village that is very um what is it when it come to Christmas they will have decoration around there. Oh. And they had talk about Nyonya. Mm. Also the Nyonya culture. Uh, Nyonya culture is technically the arranged marriage from in the past right yeah. in the past there, there are all this arranged marriage between like royal uh, royal royalties uh, royal families yes uh. royalties 
so Baba Nyonya is a com- combination of from the Chinese mm-hmm. and also from the Malays. Yep. So they are technically the mix, the ones that are the mixed bloods. Yep. Basically, mm-hmm. the the true interracial couples. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. correct. Yeah. Right. So we have I mean, Jin, we have Jindian also. Jindian. Yeah, Jindians. Yeah. Jindian. So um, Black is very interesting. I really recommend it. Like next next time you can go visit that. Place. Next trip. Okay, next speaking trip. speaking of 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 names, right? But, Malacca, right? Yeah. You call it Malac. Wait, 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 wait. Before you laugh, educate me first. How do I? How do I say it? Uh, if KL way, we call it as Malacca. 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 We, Malacca. Yeah, because we speak it like, what is it? Malay. Uh, mm. Bahasa Melayu. We we read it as Malacca. Okay, so in Singapore wise, right? We might we might uh, I don't know uh, That's just me uh, I've been hearing uh, We call mm. it as Malacca. I I can. See yeah. that's true also because yeah. there's the English. I I noticed that there are the English way and the um Bahasa mm. way of writing Malacca. So mm. it's either the oh, yeah. English way M A L A C C A. Yeah, we call it C C A. Yes, we don't really oh, say K A. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why we call it as Malacca. That's why. Yeah. Ma- Malacca. Uh, Malacca. Wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Malacca. 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 Yeah. Malacca. So that's the more like authentic way of saying it, no? Yeah, nothing wrong with it. It's just that because we are brought up saying it as Malacca. Oh, oh. So same as like um, uh, Genting. So what I've learned is that it's called Genting, not Genting. Yeah. But Singaporeans <laughs> we call it as Genting. Then you guys all no laugh. Idea. <laughs> is he? Is he? <laughs> even even my mom's side, yeah, they're all like usually Malaysians. They call it as Genting already. Just because it's more of the uh, UK US pronunciation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I see. Ah. Yes. We call it as Gunting Highland. Gunting, ah, Gunting. Gunting Highland. Because <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, when you go there to, to like uh, uh, gamble, that kids, uh, if anyone's watching this, please don't try and gamble. We do not condone uh, this. We do not condone gambling, yes. yes. But, but alternatively, the, the new Sky will. Uh, can think they open right? Yes. Oh, yes. Is it open or re-renovated? Um, currently is um what they say they are doing a short launch for their outdoor, um, outdoor kimbap. Kim, outdoor kimbap. Yeah, I have a few Singaporean friends who want to go there for that already. Mm. Yeah, that's why you know it's 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 big because I think it was renovating for a very long time. Super 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 five long. years. Yeah. How is it even five years? I think it's because <laughs> one of it is because of the copyright issue. Last copyright issues. Yeah. yeah. Because of Fox, I think I yeah. think last mm. yeah because of Fox the problem I forget already, but because of that that's why they extend it until now. And they had to there were some contract issues, yep. uh contractual issues and also uh other than that there was one more thing that was Malaysia had to pull out, some some issue happened and Malaysia had to pull out and then they had to pay back the company, a huge sum, and afterwards they had to refurbish everything. Just bulldoze and rebuild. I thought it was just I thought it was just slow innovation. No, no. no. But I didn't know la, the, 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 the drama but behind it. But that's a little no. issue. But currently it's doing a soft launch. Okay. Uh, but I know that it's until uh, 30 June. Then after that they were doing like they were fully launch the entire team park. So the soft mm. launch currently they only open a, a few um, sections. Yeah, a few sections. But you cool. still can go play it. Cool, cool. Mm, yeah. Uh, Sky World, uh, I would love to go there. Uh, we can do a, a, a collaboration there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, um, I think just to end off very quickly is that uh, I really miss the, the getting, uh, what's it called? Uh, Snow City. Oh, oh. Yes, that- I don't know if it's still there. No, it's no. It's very small though. Have you seen Singapore's one? <laughs> <laughs> Compare that way. I'm not sure it still exists or not though. The last I saw it was still exist. I the saw last, it last year. Oh last year. Okay. As of I, last I went year. there before before you I went there like uh, at least three or four years ago. As in I saw it on Google. As in mm. according to Google, it was still Exist. existed since last year. Because I went to uh Snow City, Singapore. Uh, I would say that it's horrible to go there. <laughs> I went, I went twice, once as a kid, so I had vivid memory of it. I thought it was a very big area. But when I went back there, it's, like, it's, it's probably as small as a... It's not even as big as a football field. Hmm. Yeah, so that's how small it is. It's probably... Is it a bigger 
if you want to visit a bigger one, I'll yeah. recommend you another location. But we'll discuss about it privately. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. That's even better. It's, it's uh, uh, considered a newer location. Mm. Oh. Uh, although it was open since at least, at least let's say what, five years ago. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, so it's pretty new now. Considered new. In Malaysia. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about that offline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that's the closest thing to Singaporeans having uh, a snow. La, but uh, I would say that I wouldn't recommend any foreigners going there or any locals going there because it's really that bad. It's, oh, po- it's badly maintained and it's old and it's, yeah. But when I see pictures of, of getting uh, Snow City, right, it looks so much better. And I would love to go there just to see. Um, and maybe it's a fake act. I don't think it is because <laughs> because right, there's people no, taking no. there's people taking pictures and all of that it looked really good like normal handphone pictures not the photographer pictures yeah, yeah. Hmm. so that's that's one thing I, I, I kind of wish to to explore la, but besides the the theme park and uh, not the casinos then I think <laughs> so free, you can go and see but you don't have you to can gamble. see but don't you go see. in yeah. there's yeah. the Ripley's museum also which one? Please believe it. Or I been I I've been there. Can we just talk about? Uh, let me just quickly talk about that. <laughs> I I've been there before. There was an attraction. There was a there was a there was a slight artifact there that scared me, <gasps> scared me. The entire oh, no. the entire. I mean, it was a kid somehow. So I think there was a there was a fact that I learned that uh, humans cannot not blink their eyes for too long. Something along those lines. I think you. I don't know if you know this fact yes. or not. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's in there. I got scarred by that fact. Then that night, right back in my hotel at the Genting, I think the hotels, right. I couldn't even stop blinking. Stop blinking. I can. I was so conscious of my blinking. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's why I know that the witness, believe it or not, right, can really scar you on, as a kid. As a kid. Yeah, mm. but maybe as a, that was a different story, lah. Yeah, mm. I've been there before. I know. Do do both of you know the Ripley's Believe It or Not? What yeah. is it actually? Not quite that. I I think I remember seeing it, but like, I mean like I know the name, but I've I've not been to that that area when I was young. Like even the TV show. No. What is it? Okay, the action? too long didn't read version is that that show is a weird fact show. Yes. Oh. So it's like there is some facts that is interesting, mm. but most of the facts is that you probably want to unsee after that. Yeah. Yeah. So be, like for example, maybe the the the, the guy uh, fit into the luggage, or maybe the the guy is very um, like got got joints that can I don't know I don't know I don't know honestly I'm seeing bendy joints bendy joints yeah. or yeah. like yeah. can 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 put like swords on the on the like that kind of stuff yeah. or can uh, eat fire uh, that kind. The easier way of explaining to the audience who may not know is just the you know the Guinness Book of Records thingy. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. so this is this is more of the uh, weird side of the world. Right? Yes. <laughs> it's like a more like a like human you basically human not block. kid friendly lah, I would oh, say. Not, not very kid friendly. But as although a kid. some things can be considered okay, hmm. but majority things are not too friendly. Yes, mm. I don't know why my parents and my relatives bring, brought me there. No, <laughs> I never they understood. Never I you. never understood that. <laughs> they scared. Uh, they scared you. <laughs> yeah. Okay la, uh, But one thing is not scary is this podcast. But I mean, we kind of uh, got got too over time from, yeah. from this <laughs> because I think it's not a lot topics to talk about. So probably mm. next time, yep. uh, we can have the, the four of us back here again or, or something else. No, not technically, not literally back here. No, not literally back, back here, here in this uh, Airbnb. In Airbnb uh. Yeah. Uh, back back in, back in, a, in, in, uh, in, in this conversation we can mm-hmm. even expand it on it further mm-hmm. but uh, by, by the way uh, in case if you're wondering uh, these people are from um, the takeaway server uh, takeaway table server so uh, thank you so much uh, Di Ming Ting for gathering the, the four of us together Yay. thank you <laughs> yeah so uh, the server makes it possible for the four of us to be gathered here yep. and um but we're still pretty active in the server. Uh, some of us, uh, I think we are not too active, but the both of them are pretty active. Not really. So not if you want to join the takeaway table server, the, the link is in the screen right now or, or see the description box for both Spotify and YouTube. And uh, from there, you can join the wonderful community of the takeaway table. And uh, you'll see interesting people like us. 
Yes. Especially these two. Maybe not really for the both of us. No, but not really. For, I for probably for like two. just like underwater now. Yeah, just underwater. But yeah, for I'm me, not, I'm just like... I'm not really active, but I'm used to be. Last time. Oh, she's yes. Really, she, if you I'm, compare I'm, it, she'll be like, she... Um, Nick, Nick will probably like on the boat. Yeah. And then she'll be like swimming in the, in yeah, the water. I'm, I'm, I'm like, like, I'm like in the base because I'm like... No, put up that, that meme, the... Uh, holding the... Uh, the mother holding the... the Daughter, then there's this other daughter <laughs> in the water, then there's the skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Which is me. <laughs> 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 so anything, this podcast is gonna be chaos. <laughs> but anyway, this is a, a episode dedicated to the takeaway table. Uh, so yeah. um feel free to ping us after this episode. <laughs> Okay, we come to the end of this episode of the takeaway table. Uh, not takeaway table. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, you know that's, that's, that's when you know that. That's when you know that your your brain is just drunk already. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this episode of the Lim Kopi podcast. Really hope that you enjoy this episode. And I think by the time we are back, uh, for the next episode, we are not in this place anymore. No, yep. no. no. Yeah. I I don't have money to continue my stay here. I need to go back to real life mm-hmm. because I'm here for the holiday. So I need to go back to uh, my work and uh, my, my, my earning more money <laughs> need to earn more money to spend more money yes. but at least you managed to to have this random yeah uh, podcast together yeah yeah, yeah. I mean I'm I'm, 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 I'm happy to, to have it here mm-hmm. yeah. that's just more important honestly la. Mm. but I'm so glad to you know have the two of them so uh, do you guys want to uh, plug what you need to plug your social media accounts or anything no but I just want to say some appreciation words like uh Without that so I don't think I would know a Singaporean. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's quite, I thought I would, would only know Malaysian, but I never know I would know a Singaporean from somewhere else. Mm. And some, some other friends from Sabah also. Wow, hey. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're not going to plug anything? Uh, nothing to plug. Okay, yeah. can, how about yourself? <laughs> you still want to plug your, your uh, two other Instagram channels? Yeah, I'll link it to... Uh, like, uh, no need, no need. Uh, I'll link it back to the uh, chaos episode. It should be number 17, right? Mm. Number 17, yeah, I think so, chaos so, yeah, yeah. episode. So if you want to, you can head on over there to, to check through. And I'll add on from what Susan mentioned is that, uh, yes, the internet is definitely a great place where you can gather people together. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so, so it's great that we can see. We can be friends. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, to know that they are, they are real people. <laughs> that, that's more interesting, actually. And <laughs> <laughs> well, no more virtual. Oh, you just a mere feeling. Yeah. You, thought that I'm a you thought that I'm a penguin, but not. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought, I thought you are fake. <laughs> oh! oh! I thought you are a catfish. <laughs> oh! No, 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 no. no. But, but then again, it's like, it's, it's, it's very cool to, to have um, the, the four of us being brought together despite yes. our different identities and, and nationalities especially and mm. yeah, cultures or so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, 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 it's just great to have the four of us together. No? And it, it, again, like I said, it's, it's really, thank, uh, really part of um, the takeaway tables, uh, I think mission and values of, of you know, bring everybody together. Yeah, mm. that's the whole point. Now. So before I, I ramble on too, too much, um, so uh, feel free to yes. yes. Last cheers. cheers. Last, last cheers. Cheers for cheers. last night. Yes. And by the way, this is my last night here. Yeah. So yeah. I'll be gone the next day. Yes. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's end off this episode. So thank you so much for t- uh, tuning in to this episode of the Limpopi Podcast. Uh, feel free to check us out in our Spotify and our Instagram and that's where we post a lot of more interesting things there um, and as well as uh, feel free to check out this too uh, not this person mm, which, is, which, is, which is Susan <laughs> but you can check out Nicholas' uh, yeah, stuff um, then you can find uh, his, his interesting pictures there and also his art account as well yeah. and do follow the two of us if you feel like following uh, there's no pressure but no, pressure. no, bro- no brownie points if you do follow us but <laughs> it'll be a, a bit more cooler if you do and I uh, just want to say thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Bye! Bye.